All right, Coach, we're, we're here in Artesia. He's getting ready to uh, scrimmage uh, Onate tomorrow night. I guess the last time we talked to you was in uh, at the Eastern New Mexico Passing League just about a, a, a month ago. Um, how have the uh, how have the Bulldogs uh, progressed since then? And are you pleased with the way uh, things are going here in, our, in fall camp? Well, we've been real pleased. We've had a good, I thought we had a good summer. I had good attendance and, and made a lot of strides in what we were doing. And uh, and that's continued into into two days and into to this week. And so we're real pleased with the the progress that we've seen out of these guys. Talk a little about uh, Taylor and his uh, and, and his his development um, as a quarterback going into his. Uh, Senior year here, I thought he, I was very impressed the way he threw the ball uh, about a month ago in the, at the at the passing league, and uh, has he continued that uh, since then? Sure, he's he does a great job. He's a hard worker, uh, intelligent kid, our our leader uh, on offense, you know, and, and he's the one that's gonna uh, he, he does a great job making sure people are in the right spots and, and getting where they want to be and and uh, where we want them to be, and and so uh, we're just real proud of him and, and and how he's progressed through through the years. I think when you were when I saw you in Potalis, I think one of your top wide receivers was on crutches, was not able to play. Uh, well, how's the health of your team right now? We're we're pretty healthy. Uh, we feel pretty good about. It. We feel fortunate to come out of the summer and 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 at this point with. Uh, uh, only you know a few things, and, and so we feel like we're in pretty good shape as a team, and um, and uh, feel good about about our health and, and getting ready for the season. I guess Onate is sort of an intriguing opponent for you guys for a scrimmage because obviously they get a, a new head coach who's bringing in a, a really a totally new scheme from what they were running last. I guess last year they were sort of running the triple option, but not right. certainly not doing that this year. So, what is that, are you uh, expecting uh, the front from Onate uh, tomorrow night? Well. We, from best we can tell, they're kind of a spread version of the spread, but uh, you know what yeah. what type that really means. You know, you won't know until you really see it. And uh, but it's it'll be new for us, but it's new for them too. And you know, they've he's had this summer to be putting it in, but not a New Mexico guy, so not a guy that or not you know in the last few years, and so not a guy that we're familiar with. And so um, it'll be interesting to, to see you know kind of what they're doing and how that uh, that program has responded to his leadership and his and his philosophy of, of what he's trying to do. Now, uh, now Artija has a sort of has a public rally tomorrow night after your scrimmage. Uh, is this sort of time of the year when the entire community sort of comes together here and, uh, and sort of rallies around the team? And obviously, uh, high school football is very popular here in Artija. It is. It's a but it's a rally to support all our, our sports teams here yeah. in Artija, uh, and so they get them all down here and introduce them and to the community and and uh, just try to get people excited about the upcoming sports season. And uh, we're, we're fortunate. To, we feel like that they use the football scrimmage as the platform to do that, but uh, it'll be a good environment in Artesia, we hope, uh, on Thursday night. When you scrimmage tomorrow night, it's only going to be eight days of the season opener. Um, what is that guy looking for out of your team uh, tomorrow night in the, in the way both offensively and defensively? Well, you know, we're – I mean, I – I don't know how other people do, but we're still evaluating and we're still trying to, to make sure that we've got the right guys in the right places and, uh, and, and some of those things as you go through and giving guys a chance to perform. And so uh, we're still evaluating personnel. Uh, we're still, uh, you know, looking to improve and get better uh, at the things that we do. And, and so uh, probably not a lot fancy, you know, tomorrow night. We just want to uh, work on the things that, uh, that we need to work on that we need to be successful during the season. And, and, uh, and see how we progressed uh, against somebody besides ourselves and in a live situation and, and, uh, and, and at the same time evaluate some personnel and, and uh, you know, at those spots where we've got some competition, uh, you know, see who's going to step up to the challenge and, and you know, s say I'm going to be that guy and seize, seize their spot. Our teacher has three Class 6A teams on their regular season schedule and you're scrimmaging a 6A school tomorrow night. So you got, so you got, our teacher likes, you got, you, you certainly accept all, all, all comers in terms of, you're certainly not afraid to take on the uh, so-called big boys, are you? Well, no, we, we really believe that, uh, that you get better by competing and, and if you're going to get better competing, you do that against good competition. And, and so if we can go against people that are going to make us better, then uh, that's what we want to do. And so, uh, you know, a couple of those are, are traditional kind of right. uh, rivalry, you know, kind of fun yeah. games in the area that go back years. And, and then, uh, of course, Cleveland. Uh, and then you got Onyate has been a long time scrimmage for us. And so those are good, good games for us. And you mix in some, some people from our class and, uh, you know, and some of them are pretty good ones in our class as well. Some of the better teams in our class. And so um, yeah, we feel good about our schedule preparing us for uh, the end of the year. Speaking of the schedule, um, not only are you scrimmaging Onate, but then your first regular season game, of course, is against sort of against your local 
rival in the, uh, the the sort of the county the county rivalry with uh, Carlsbad. How, I mean, is it are the kids getting excited? Obviously, your, your thoughts are probably on Onati at this point, but I mean, uh, you think are the kids thinking a little bit ahead to trying the first game of the year when they're playing against sort of a bra- for the county bragging rights against against their geographic well, rival? Yeah, I'm sure they're thinking about that. Yeah. You know, that's that's what uh, they're going to do, and it's a big deal in this community in that community. Yeah. I mean, this area, it's a uh, that's a big game, a lot of tradition, a lot of uh, uh, history to the game and things that have happened. And, and so uh, especially for the old timers, you know, people that right. uh, have been around a long time and in the community a long time, it's a big deal. Um, I think, you know, in both programs, we understand that it's a, you know, it's an opening game. You're uh, you're looking to get better right. and improve. And, um, you know, I, I don't know that it carries the weight that some it certainly doesn't carry the weight that some games down the road are going to carry, but uh, certainly we're, we're looking forward to it, and it's a fun way to start the season. Thanks, Coach.